Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Will the Collector back with another video review? Well, what I got for you tonight, folks? Well, the Cable Guy. Well, I'm kidding, not the Cable Guy. This is Marvel Legends series Cable figure. Um, Josh Brolin is Cable, pretty much. Uh, nice window box packaging, chock full of accessories, like always. Um, you know, looks like uh, Deadpool got a hold of this package too. Uh, just like his uh, two-pack box set I just uh, did of ne him and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Grabbed a hold of it. Slapped a Deadpool sticker over the logo. Or printed one, anyways. That sucks. That's not a real sticker. Anyway, scratched out Nathan Summers. Wrote in a cable by Hasbro. 14 years or older. Don't choke on shit, kids. Uh, top of the package. Again, sticker over the Marvel Legends series. Side of the package. Got that beautiful minimalist artwork. Again, this, I mean, looking at this, though, this makes me think of Soldier with Kurt Russell. You know, if anybody's seen that movie, you haven't seen that movie, he says like two words in the whole thing, but he was fit as anything else, as was Josh Brolin as Cable. And on the back, again, another picture of that minimalist version of Cable. Nathan Summers scratched out with Cable there on the side. Again, another shot. Back to the front. On the bottom. Don't choke on it, kids. I'm going to pause this, get him out of his plastic prison, and we're going to take a closer look. And we're back, boys and girls, and there he is, again, out of his plastic prison. And i got to say, I'm very happy with the look of this figure. Um, having watched Deadpool 2 numerous times, initially when I first watched it, I wasn't... It took me the second viewing to really appreciate it more the second time around. And uh, as much as I love the first one, I'm a, still a very big fan of the second one. Um, again, Josh Brolin being cast as Cable kind of, I was like, eh, you know, he's going to be Thanos and Cable, you know, I was like, is he doing too much? But I thought he did a very good job. I was very happy with him. Um, how much do I know Cable? Again, my, my knowledge is going to be him in the nineties, uh, him in the cartoon for the couple of scene, you know, uh, episodes that he's in is how I'm, yeah, I'm going to take this off real quick just because. This is a loose piece. That's his loose, you know, old man garment or whatever. He's not wearing that when he... Well, he is wearing that when he breaks into the, the prison the first time. But, you know, you could take that off. It doesn't look too bad. His neck looks a little wonky. That's because his bark belt joint's a little off. But it's a good-looking figure. Um, zoom in on the, uh, the Brolin likeness there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Again, if uh, the photo printing looks pretty good, I think I went through six or seven of these at Walmart and just picked the best one. So he all all of them he kind of look he's kind of like looking up. He's kind of looking a little bit up at you. Probably just the way all of them look that way. So I just picked the one with the uh, the best paint. Uh, and I gotta say, it's been a while since I watched the movie, so I'm not gonna tell you what exactly is, I mean, this, the, it looks like how I felt like it also looked in the movie. Uh, Brolin got cut and huge for his role, you gotta, you know, applaud him for that, whether you liked him. I liked him, I thought he did, I, don't, I thought he did a hell of a job, but I think what I like the most is just all the, the digs that, uh, you know, they, they threw in there as to Brolin, you know. Now or you know, just references to time traveling characters, calling him John Connor. When he called him one eyed Willie, I about lost it. But again, that's the the big shout out to Brolin and the Goonies. But just uh, going over articulation real quick, looks like he's got a, a barbell joint up there in the head, which allows for just a plethora of movement there in the head. Uh I think that's static, but I think his next joint's static that or it's just really stuck right there but you know that looks pretty good you know shoulder rotation swivel bicep cut double jointed elbow got pins but i don't care it's a toy uh ankle rotation oh with an up and down because it's a trigger finger and let's see he's got he's got this um Flak jacket type vest, which 
I think he does he have a yeah, he's got he's got a he's got a diaphragm cut and then a waist swivel. He's got hips can go out to there. That's not bad. Probably kick. Yep, he can kick Reynolds in the head. And then a thigh cut. Double jointed knee. Don't kick my camera. Boot cut. Ankle joint with a rocker. Rocking it all night, folks. And there you go. There he is. Metal, I'll just go over the metal arm. Which, you know, you can see that's a little separated there in the socket. Yeah, about the same over there, probably because it's got uh, that whatever he's got laying over him. Oh. There we go. Oh, man. Scared to death. Something's going to pop right off. But I've got a good bicep swivel, double jointed. You know, that arm looks good. Yeah, you can tell where it's been. Room in there. You know. Nice detail. I can't tell if those are supposed to be part of the design or where he got shot at some point in time. It was probably part of the design. Yeah. Not too bad. I mean, this side's not painted. This side is. Got a little bit of a, you know, silver paint there. But, uh, you know, not too bad. If I wanted to, I'd get a silver paint pan and do some touch-ups. You know. Going over his belt here, he's got extra clips. He's got his daughter's teddy bear. Uh, got a holster for one of his accessories. We'll go over that in a second. Got a second holster there. Got some spare clips for his rifle. And there he is. I'll put his thing back on here. Poncho, whatever the hell it is. You know, I need to get I need to get a cloth one. You know, but very it looks very good. Go over his accessories real quick. He comes with he comes in the package with two gun hands and he comes with two closed fisted hands right there. He comes with a I wanna say I don't know what kind of pistol that is. Is that a SIG? I can't tell. It's a pistol. And it goes into this holster right back here. Not too bad. And then these came off in the package. But here is, I believe, just a mini 203 or 40 millimeter grenade launcher that I know he pulls off at one point in time, and that's what he stores right here. Uh, but also, he had this attachment. I forgot at what point in time he probably took that off of that rifle and had put this one on. But they both can pop on the bottom of his um, massive, massive rifle combo pulse weapon you know, multi-flashlight railgun looking thing that can go up to 11, which I thought was nice. But again, that uh, that little mini handheld 203 launcher can clip on there too. But I'll take that off and that will go in this front holster right here. It's a little snug, but it goes in there nice. And then this will go on here, like so. And that is a, that is a bad weapon right there. Not much paint. You get you know you get brown paint on stock, black throughout. But I don't think there was much things to make this stand out. You know, maybe if you would paint some knobs or something like that. There's the the knob that goes up to eleven. Not much else to go with this thing. And I'm gonna put that in his hands real quick. There, nice fit. Looks pretty good. See if we can go out far enough. 
So you almost want them to have not a left trigger hand, but just a left open palm hand so you don't have to stretch these hands out half the time. You know, just a cup hand, just a cupped hand to be able to put on the bottom of the rifle. But there he is. He looks pretty good. I'm very, very happy for this purchase and highly recommend. And for a comparison, I'm not going to Deadpool, but I'm going to the comic version. Now, this is my Marvel Legends cable, which you can just see the size he's supposed to be in the in the comics. I mean, he is just, you know, just a huge, huge dude. Um, and that's a custom-made weapon look like the one he had in the animated series. Uh, I got that off of uh, somebody off of Instagram. If I remember to find the, the link of where I bought it from, I got him and Bishop's um, shotgun. Very inexpensive. Uh, very nice. Uh, quickly. Yeah, but you can see the difference. This is, you know, fiction, reality. And then, then again, I like I said, I think he did a bang up job. I enjoyed his portrayal. You know, you could you could have gone over so many different actors that could have. You know, everybody has their list of who should have played Cable and, and so on and so forth. You know, was there somebody bigger? Yeah, could they have been? I, I think he did a bang up job. I liked him. You know, would I have liked to have seen Scott Lang in that role? Yeah, probably. You know, but you know, the cast rolling. I thought he did. I thought he did it great. I can't. I hope they do more in the future, and I hope he's a part of it. Do I hope we get an X Force movie? Yeah, but I'm not holding my breath because I don't want to pass out, folks. Anyway, but there he is with his animated, or his uh, comic book counterpart, which again, you know, that's my that's my cable right there, that one right there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take him off real quick. And just because, there he is with Deadpool, which, man, they really shorted Reynolds, didn't they? Because Reynolds was like a couple inches taller than uh, Brolin. Huh. Well, that doesn't really hurt my feelings, on the shelf anyways. Bring in Negasonic, because... I think they shared the screen for maybe five seconds. You know. But there they are. And I believe we're missing one. Don't worry, kids. He's She's coming. She's coming. Uh, let's see. Pull him off. And of course, because I'm gonna. There he is with one of the G.I. Joe figures. You know, is he going to play take the place of anybody? I can't think of who he's going to take the place of right now. Um, you know, if you wanted to buy him specifically for, you know, your G.I. Joe shelf, I can't imagine that you would. But if you did, hey, your reasonings, your collection, do with as you please. And let's see. Take the play. You know what? Just because... There he is with a DC Direct Red Hood. Not bad. I think I think Red Hood would be shorter than Cable, anyways. Uh, definitely shorter than Movie Cable. You know, I forgot who I was talking to. They 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 just the way their setup was, was they had to just a different smattering of different characters, and because I am Will the Collector, here is the movie collector played by Benicio del Toro I don't know how they oh oh yeah what is that movie uh Sicario if you haven't seen Sicario wow go take a look at that movie it and its sequel man uh Benicio just a cold dude uh Brolin you know different kind of cold but a cold dude nonetheless and Let's see. Yeah. Because why the hell not? There he is with Casey Jones. 
I know there's probably so many other figures you're like, oh my God, compare them with this one or compare them with that one. I mean, you kind of know at what point in time where you're going to go, don't you? You know. You know what? Let me go grab somebody else real quick. Why? Because I can. Oh. With Mecca Arnold. You know, that was probably somebody to play, you know, on somebody's list. If he wasn't going to be Colossus, you know, he probably could have been a decent cable a couple years ago. You know, but I guess. I think Kurt Russell 10 years ago could have made a, 10, 15 years ago could have made a decent cable. But, you know, would Ryan Reynolds have been the Deadpool that he is? Yeah, he probably would have been. He's always been that guy. Anyways. Uh, this has been Will the Collector. I'm here again with Marvel Legends Movie Cable. I like him. Um, he was definitely a, a must-buy for me, along with the rest of the characters from Deadpool. Um, I hope we get a third one. I'm pretty sure that we will. And um, I hope we get more figures from the from that, too. You know, uh, as long as they're good characters. Anyways, it's been Will the Collector. Again, folks, take care of one another. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.